Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Antique Penguin. In this episode, I will be reading the new newspaper, explore the submarine party, and find a new pin. Anyways, it was very obvious that the submarine party was going to happen especially when the Save the Migrator project began. I'm honestly looking very forward to Aquagrabber being released at February 19th as Aquagrabber is honestly one of my favorite mini games. I do wonder if the creator will add stamps or not for Aquagrabber as Catch and Wave surprisingly didn't have stamps. We'll just have to wait and see. I also wonder if it's going to be the whole complete game or just have one unnamed level where you collect the migrator parts like when it was released back in the original Club Penguin. We'll have to wait and see as well. Also, Rory is confirmed to appear at this party so hopefully I'll be able to meet him even though there's a chance he might appear at a bad timing at my time zone like Rock Hopper at the Christmas party last year and Pal Patton at the press release last week. If I'm able to meet Rory then I'll be sure to record it and share it with you guys. Also fun fact, the music you are hearing at the background which is the submarine party music is actually the same as the underwater adventure play and the music is actually called Air Bubble Boogie which is pretty interesting. Also if you guys want to hear some classic Club Penguin OSTs in high quality then I recommend you guys to check out Club Penguin high quality OSTs channel. Anyways at the upcoming events page of the newspaper, it says that the sports catalog update is happening at February 29th which is funny since 2022 is not a leap year. Maybe it will come at February 28th or March 1st instead. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways I am now done reading the newspaper and I am now checking out the submarine party. The ski hill, ski lodge, lodge attic, and the sports shop don't have decorations in them which is fine. I do love the decorations at the ski village especially the sub shop as that one looks pretty cool. Not much changed at the beach other than a few leaves and a fish but it's still pretty cool. There's no decorations at the lighthouse but there are decorations at the beacon which I'll show later at the video as I didn't know there were at the time I first recorded this. The decorations at the docks looks pretty cool as well especially the fish decors and the boat. The town honestly looks very amazing not gonna lie. Just love how the coffee shop, nightclub, and the gift shop exteriors look very beautiful. The decorations at the coffee shop honestly looks more amazing than the town as I just love how beautiful it looks. The decorations at the book room honestly just looks as beautiful as the coffee shop and here in this room you can find a free item which is the seashell belt and it honestly looks pretty awesome. Also if you haven't noticed already, the theme of this party is ocean or underwater themed which I think is pretty awesome. Now let's check out the nightclub and see what the decorations look like and wow, this honestly looks very amazing. I really love how the whole dance club is underwater and the music at the dance club is pretty epic. Honestly my favorite decorated room at this party so far. The dance lounge looks pretty amazing as well. I also didn't know that if you press the red button, it will make an alarm noise which I will show at the end of the video. The gift shop doesn't have decorations at all so I'll check out the snow forts instead and wow. This honestly looks pretty awesome as well. I just really love the underwater theme of this party. The ice rink isn't decorated so I am now checking out the plaza and wow. This looks pretty awesome as well. I just really love how there is an octopus at the pet shop exterior and that the pizza parlor is named Captain Patch's Pizza Shack. And speaking of the pizza parlor, I am now checking out the decorations of the pizza parlor and it honestly looks pretty amazing too. The music at the pizza parlor is pretty epic as well. I actually recognized that the music at the pizza parlor is Ocean Voyage from the Pirate Party. The forest looks pretty amazing too and there is actually another free item at the forest that I didn't know of which I will show later in the video. The cove's decorations has definitely got to be my second favorite decorated room for this party so far and yes I did find the pin at this place which is the anchor pin and it honestly looks pretty cool. Also a fun fact about this party is that it was the first party where rooms were redrawn instead of having added decorations to existing rooms which I think is pretty awesome and interesting. Not much changed at all since the last time I've seen the iceberg except that they added the submarine party music in it. Although the boiler room isn't decorated, you can actually hear the added music from the dance club a little bit which I think is pretty cool. Anyways, let's check out all the things I missed. 
Alright I am at the forest and when I click at the fish hidden at the castle, you can see a bunch of fake fishes swimming but that's not why I'm here as when I click on the treasure chest, you can get another free item which is the yellow snorkel and it looks pretty cool. Now let's check out the room I missed. Alright I'm at the beacon and all I can say is that the beacon looks very awesome and it's honestly my second favorite decorated room after the dance club. My favorite decoration at this room has got to be the puffer fish light as that one looks very epic. Honestly this party has been pretty amazing and it honestly has got to be my favorite party of this year with the winter fiesta being second and the valentine's day party being third. It's just really fun exploring all the decorated rooms at this party even though I have already experienced this party at Club Penguin rewritten last year. Anyways in the next episode, I will be playing Aqua Grabber. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe for more antique penguin videos. With that being said, see you guys next time.